And Bruce is starting today, one of his first starts of a Premier League season. Um, our Ender Stevens is in. Stevens for John Flack. Norwood's in midfield. Investigate, he had a really good game against Everton and almost scored the match winning goal. Oh, what a ball forward. Switch play onto the left. No one's brought the ball in. Seven Landstrom. Oh, there's a chance and it's cut out, I think, in the middle by Lampardy. <sighs> 20 Bogle. He also played against Crystal Palace where Sheffield United lost 2 0. Sheffield United looking to pick up, if they win this, their fifth win of the season and they've only scored 16 goals this year in the Premier League, which is quite weak if you ask me. Just, just, um, just four goals under. Burnley, who only have 20 goals. Yeah, Keen Bryan scored Liverpool 77,000th goal, but it was an own goal, so huh, not the approach he would have wanted, really. To oh, Ramsdale, we had a great game against Liverpool, who might be looking for an England call up. Should be a big credit to him, but I think Pickford's doing quite well as well. Okay, let's have a look at this Southampton lineup. They got Teller and Ings, no Che Adams. Interesting. And it's Che Adams benched. Oh no, he got he uh, substituted. I think he got injured. He was starting. I think Danny Ings is on now. Well, on Vestergaard. Oh, I'll pass back. Southampton have been really in control of the ball. If, you, if you're if you wondering what I'm saying, is I'm commentating this match because obviously I can see it and some people who don't have Sky would probably like to know what's going on. So I thought, why not do this? Rosa Forster's ball up, headed forward by Brian. And Padua Baldock. <laughs> it's really hard to tell the numbers from where I'm sat. James Ward Prowse. Nine. Danny Ings is in. Danny Ings is up forward. Uh, Takumi Minamino starting again after missing the Everton game. James Ward Prowse, the specialist. Oh, it's a low ball in by um, Walker Peters, cut out by Joe Bryan. No, no that's not Joe Bryan. Keen Bryan. I should probably write Keen right next to it. Keen Brian. I bring Sheffield United to defend this one. It's a low ball in, and it's the strikes deflected off Ampadu, blocked, and there's a long range effort by Takumi Minamino. Oh, he's going wide. See Ralph Hatton Hutton looking very stern. 27 DR to Walker. No, no. no that's 70. Armstrong. Stuart Armstrong with yet another start. Very strong player. Well, Proud's missed it, but it's recovered in the end by Carl Walker Peters, who stuck for options, and that's a dodgy pass, but Diallo's able to pick it up in midfield. I lift a beautiful ball over to Teller. Teller, he's one on one, he's been brought down by Ampadu. They want a penalty, but I don't think they're going to get it. All the referees pointed to the spot. 
Ampa do with the foul when Southampton have a penalty. Oh, this is interesting. There we are. You can see the challenge from Ampadu and Tellus. Not exactly a clean one. Let's see if he get. No, he doesn't get any connection on the ball whatsoever. He kicks Tellus like then is able to get something. So, no. It's all up to Aaron Ramsdale now to save it. Peters. Now, yeah, we have maybe the fourth string go. Okay, I think it's going to be James Ward Prowse to take it. Okay. Let's see how my stream's doing. Talking to no one, great. James Ward Prowse, 12 yards out. Can he beat Ramsdale? Yes, he can. James Ward Prowse sends Aaron Ramsdale the, the wrong way. Aaron Ramsdale diving to his right as James Ward Prowse goes calmly down the left hand side. A beautiful hammer of a penalty gifts Southampton the lead. And could they be, be blaming Ampadu? It's a great finish. What put you um, in the live stream, maybe? Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I see they can. Right, what's up? Okay. Sick. Okay, just ending this to um my story. Just in case anyone wants to hop in, whoever's in the um, live stream, please tell me if you're a saint or a Blade fan. Okay. There's Sheffield United strolling forward. When conceding first Premier League games, Sheffield United have had 18 defeats from when they've conceded first, which is not looking good. Right? Just a second. Free kick to. Sheffield United, it's a beautiful ball in and it's headed down and just over the bar by Keen Bryan. The tight one, he was left completely unmarked. Maybe he should have done better, but that's a beauty of a ball in by John Flack. Tap, and he should have really put it away. I don't know if he's offside. He, he was actually offside. So now the flag's been raised. Yeah, comment um, who you are and what your favourite team is down in the live chat. Right. Yeah, comment um, who you are and what your favourite team is down in the live chat. Fraser Forster with the goal kick. Over the top. Teller, he's found a way past Ampadu and it's another free kick. I think this time it's a foul by... Uh, Bulldog. 
Oh no, no, it's Bogle, sorry. Been challenged by Bogle. I think this time it's a foul by Bogle. Yes, yeah, so a free kick. It's not going to be in an attacking area, more on the wing. As this Jaden Bogan, Jaden Bogle's second booking of the season. Check how this is doing. Two viewers, cool. Okay, I think it's Ward Prowse to hover over this one. It's a great chance. As long as he doesn't put too much power on it and is out at the near post. Stuart Armstrong wins possession back. Now to Kumi Minamino on the ball. And he goes all the way back to Ben Foss, uh, Fraser Forster. Sorry, got a little confused there. And it's out by, I think, Lundstrom on the Southampton right. Yep. Only got one view now. Switch of play over on the right to Takumi Minamino. Minamino back to Carl Walker Peters. Southampton staying very strong in possession. Walker Peters forward tries to find the gap but cut out brilliantly by Keane Bryan. He's put in a ball from a Goldrick headed for by Vestergaard. And there's a second chance to get the ball as Flex flick on is out of play by Vest touched out of play. And it's up for a Southampton throw. Southampton have been very dominant in possession. Not allowed Sheffield United to have much of the ball. That's at all, I don't think. Lots of possession for this match. Yes, Southampton with 66.2% possession. Stuart Armstrong to Teller on the left-hand side. Can he find Stuart Armstrong again? He decides to bring it infield towards Takumi Minamino, who can't find a teammate. Danny Ings is juggling it. Can he find a way out? It's a long-struck effort by Teller. Sailing to the right-hand side, but held onto by Aaron Ramsdale, who brings it out to McGoldrick, but one back straight away by Southampton. Minamino and Norwoods now in possession. Sheffield United have lost two of their last three home games against Southampton, more than they have at that previous 15 at Bramall Lane, with where when they've won 11, drawn 3 and lost 1. And Southampton have won their last three league meetings with Sheffield United, um, last winning four, when the last time they won four in a row against them was in 1950. So can Southampton put away a, well no, what would it be now? Um, a 71 year record, I believe, 71 year record. Walker Peters. He was that with a handball. No, Jaden Bogle. It was that Ampadu, yeah, he was. But for that dangerous challenge, leading on to a Ward Prowse penalty. And there's Teller's gone down again, but the referee doesn't blow. Sheffield United. Here's a chance if John Fleck can reach it on the left. He's gone for the first time. Ball in. McGoldrick's in the middle. He's unmarked. And forces a brilliant save from Fraser Forster. David McGoldrick with a glorious chance, but now the flag's been raised. As Sheffield United almost thought that they had the equaliser. 
Yeah, it's a great touch to take it away from Ryan Bertrand. What a save by Fraser Forster, who's been starting in recent weeks in the place of McCarthy. And what a save that is. Of course, at least you're not starting after his poor game against Everton. Oh, here's a chance for da Danny Ings. Was that Jay Adams? I can't tell who's that striker. It says Danny Ings here. Oh, no, Jay Adams is on for Danny Ings. Sorry. It's Jay Adams. McGoldrick and it's um out straight away. Other than that, I don't think that other than what um Sheffield, other than what Southampton already have on the pitch, they don't have much more attacking options than Armstrong, Minamino, Che Adams, Teller, and Danny Ings really. Who's not been starting the last couple of games? The Goldrick's gone down, and the referee decides it's a free kick to Sheffield United. They almost scored from the first time they had a free kick like this. Can they make sure of it for a, from the second? Oh, they've gone quickly. Ender Stevens, John Flex continued his run. Cross on his left foot. We're quoting a cross the the box from the left. No one can get his head on it, but Bogle nearly won it. Norwood's ball in, floated in from the right this time and headed out straight away by Yannick Vestergaard. So ball chipped forward for Jason Bogle if he can keep it in play. And oh the referee's decided it is Oh, it's a goal kick. Sorry, it looked like he'd had chosen a penalty for a second. Let's have a look at the challenge. He didn't get the ball at all, but I, I believe it was just a shoulder barge. So, yeah, yeah, I don't think that's a penalty. Others may disagree, but I don't, clearly. Ampadu. Ball chipped over the top towards Teller and it's fished forward. Here's a chance from John Fleck. On the left hand side towards David McGoldrick. Sheffield United closing in. There's a strike taking a block off Vestergaard. And then McGoldrick. Ball forward by Joe Bryan. No, Keen Bryan, sorry. I get so confused right nowadays. But Goldrick tries to bring in a ball, he's taken a deflection, which is actually steering on target, but held onto by Fraser Forster, who has been, who's pulled off some quite brilliant saves this game. If you know anyone that doesn't have Sky and might like to watch this, Please share the video with them and don't be afraid to give it a like and subscribe. The ball clipped over the top towards Rian Brewster, who's trying to hold off Vestergaard. Lundstrom on the right towards Bogle. Lundstrom. Back, Ollie Norwood clips it in for Bogle, who tries to cross it in and it meet, and it gets into the box, but out. By Minamino, it looked like as if for a moment it went out for a goal kick and some very inappropriate language mentioned from Ollie Norwood to the referee. As we approach half time, two minutes of added time left. Two minutes left to play for both of these teams. Southampton 1, Sheffield United 0. Yeah, I just need to update that. Sheffield United 0. 
two brilliant chances which were both called offside for Sheffield United as straight after James Ward Prowse had scored as Bogle clears it forward but Forster to head it out comes off his line to head it out of play on the Sheffield United right. Where they've, been, where they've created most of their chances, really. Been hovering across the right and left side of the pitch. John Fleck. Back to Keen Bryan. Ender Stevens tries to get it forward. Headed out as John Fleck went straight through with that one to, to Kumi Minamino. Diallo. Bednarek, Vestergaard, I think Southampton defence are just going to switch it around now. There's not much left to be said and done, Rian Brewster, he's playing in David McGoldrick, who tries to chip Fraser Forster, but good luck trying the chip on a man of his size. There we are, so there's a passive mistake from Darlow, McGoldrick really should have done better there, as Sheffield United should have equalised. I think the half time whistle has been blown. It is, it is Southampton 1. They've put ahead by James Ward Prowse and Sheffield United 0. The hosts go down in the 32nd minute after their skipper scores a penalty, say, sending David, um, David, no, Aaron Ramsdale the wrong way. Okay, I, I'm just going to quickly grab a drink and I'll be back for some. Um, mid analysis sort of okay I'll be back in like two minutes okay cool bye Okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry. Actually, run it. Let's see how the stream's doing. <laughs> that changed really quickly. Let's see the analytics. One current viewer, is that me or yes, let's refresh. I 
analytics. Yep. Yeah. Okay, um, whoever's watching, hi, thank you so much for tuning in. And now I'm going to prepare my mid match analysis to see how all the players are doing. Um, for that, I go to this place called Cypher Score. No, no, that is wrong place. <laughs> uh, just get rid of that. Um, if anybody on BT who has BT saw the um, the less the, the Arsenal Burnley match, you know that Burnley really didn't deserve that goal. It just hit the leg of Chris Wood flukily from a granite jacker mistake. But um, yeah, it's um, oh live stream? Huh. The chances? No, I'm not live streaming on this stupid app. Um, there we are. We got. Dean's World Prowse has gone up, his ratings have gone up. They have. You can see um, they've been dominating. Sheffield United have been dominating possession, the shots, shots on target, shots off target, sort of level. Oh, <laughs> Southampton have. The Sheffield United have somehow managed to fit in 10 fouls and only 2 yellow cards. Fluky. Oh, Frankie Maguire. Look at Harry Maguire's brother, guys. Uh, yeah, Sheffield United really made a hash of that last chance. David McGoldrick. As we could see, um, yeah, we could see Ampadu, who really gifted the goal he get you pushed down teller i think he was clean through i think he's lucky to get a yellow with that if i'm honest but he's some young fresh talent he's been making a name for himself he's been replacing danny inks i think as um South um Sheffield United have had Chris Basham, Sander Berg, John Egan, Jack O'Connell and Jack Robinson out of their starting lineups. Diallo, Minamino and Carl Walker Peter made his made their returns. But Oriel Romeo, Theo Walcott and Oberfern and me, they're really they're really all out here. As if and if things sit where they are, Southampton could be looking at closing in. Is that their current score? Or let me just check. And the second half's going to be in two minutes. We've just got like a 15 minute ad break, just in case people are wondering how long it actually took. But, um, Premier League tables. That's not live. I can turn it off. Um, Southampton, yeah, they're four point. They were four points behind Crystal Palace, but if things stay how they are, they could be closing in. As uh, the Eagles have a next tough couple of games with their next match being against Tottenham Hotspurs, I believe. So um, we're gonna have to see how that plays out. But um, personally, I think Sheffield United really need this victory. If Sheffield United are able to turn things around and miraculously, um, if Sheffield United can turn things around, they'll go back. They'll go up to nineteenth place.
But um, yeah, I'm actually going to see how my fantasy team's doing. Oh, I'm not doing too bad this year. Or today. Um, Pepe got one point. Pope got two points. And McGoldrick got a point, really. So, um, that's good. If you wonder who I've got in my ultimate team, I've got Schmeichel in goal. Luke Shaw, Gary Cahill, Robertson and Keane at the back. Salah, Gundogan, Pepe and Foden in all in midfield. And up front we have Richarlison and Jamie Vardy. With Pope, Wambasaka, McGoldrick and Andre Gomez on the bench. As the second half will start quite soon. I'm just quickly get my water from right across the thing. Mm. Overall, I think Sheffield United really need to turn this around because I think this is going to be their only clean opportunity to um, be able to do that. As West Brom have Newcastle. Which is going to be a decisive game tomorrow at tomorrow at twelve o'clock on Prime Video. Let me guys let me, in the live chat tell me if you guys want to see that. If Sheffield United are able to pick up a um, a victory, they'll go into sixteenth place. If also if Brighton don't win. But if um, West Brom, but if they lose in Fulham, beat somehow beat Liverpool um, by five goals, they'll go, um, Fulham will go above them. So it's going to be an interesting one. Every match is a big match in the Premier League, as it's going to be live in about two minutes. So I don't want to steal Martin Tyler's line. <laughs> okay, let's see how this stream's doing. Uh, how long is this? Let's see how well it's doing now. Current viewers. Mm. Ah, come on, guys. Okay, the second half is now live. Okay, yes, we got the views back up, lads. So we got the second half. Currently, it is one nil to Sheffield to Southampton after a James Ward Prowse penalty, sending Aaron Ramsdale the wrong way around, and really a couple of missed chances that should not have been missed by David McGoldrick has um, has left us to this break. As the second half will be starting soon, now uh, I can't really um, show you the footage because that's illegal, but I am going to commentate it for you. Let us know which match you want to see tomorrow. Which match? Oh, I wonder if I can sort of capture the um the Manchester derby if you guys would like that. 
none of these teams has made any changes to their squads. Um, Danny Ings had to be substituted out out of an injury within the first 13 minutes for Che Adams and his strike partner Teller won a penalty from a clumsy challenge by she- by the Southampton's Ampadu and Go- David McGoldrick misses three great chances and Keane Bryan was, uh, but I think yeah Sheffield United have had three good chances after Jeff- uh, Southampton had scored but um Two of them were called offside and David McGoldrick hilariously tried to chip Fraser Forster. Well, we all know that he's not going to really chip a... How long was he? Well, David McGoldrick tries to chip um, a... Six foot seven man, as I think there is going to be one substitution before we kick off the second half. Well, no, I don't think there is actually. We're waiting for the whistle, and our second half is underway. Hope you guys have been enjoying the stream. I'm trying to get my watch hours up. In real life, Ian Crocker and Rob Green would be commentating, but not in this one because, obviously, uh, I am commentating. And Padu. But the teacher switched half, so if you look at it from an angle, uh, if you look at the pitch straight down, um, Sheffield United have the left side and uh, they have to try and score down the right and Southampton have to try and score down the left but this is a chance John Fleck tries to bring in the ball but cut out straight away oh no that was Ender Stevens. I think I think Rian Brewster's come off if I'm not mistaken yeah I think Rian Brewster has come off for um, I can't remember his name now. Oh, Ollie McBurney. Yes, Ollie McBurney is on for the Blades. Fraser Forster has a corner taken quickly and Forster able to get something on that as he breaks it out for Takumi Minamino. It's a three on two. James Ward Prowse. Walker Peters. No, Ryan Bertrand, I mean. Vestergaard. It's back to Fraser Forster. Stuart Armstrong. The team's Ramsdale starts in goal for Southampton. Boulder, Ampadu, and Brian in defence as. The three man midfield and I think Ollie McBurney's been brought on, yes. I think Bruce does still here. So um I'm gonna cross it out. Yeah, Bruce is still on, I can see him there. Former he used to play for Liverpool and Swansea in the past year. Fraser Forster in field to Diallo, who almost gave away a goal for Southampton. There's a challenge. Referee decides no free kick should be awarded. Ollie McBurney's reached it. Vestergaard applying some great pressure in there. Stuart Armstrong. Tries to pass it straight down the middle. One by one back well by James Ward Prowse. No, Stuart Armstrong, I mean. Stuart Armstrong. Tries to go on the right. Walker Peters low ball in and there's no one there to meet it. But another low cross snapped out by Ramsdale. A low cross by Che Adams. 
He's going to go for the long strike effort. What a goal. Jay Adams. A rocket into the top left corner. A beautiful, beautiful goal. A goal of the season. He's on the edge of the box. The ball bounces straight in front of him. He thinks, why not? Let's take the shot on. On his right foot. Into the top left corner. As Southampton... As Southampton really now settle their lead. Two goals up at the at Bramall Lane. Um, what a way to go up. You see Jay Adams low cross. Snapped out by Ramsdale. They try and clear it. Hits ahead of Ryan Bertrand. Stuart Armstrong chests it down to Che Adams who scores a brilliant right-footed goal on the right side of the D on the volley into the top left corner all he can do is take a bow upper Benjamins all the way to the bank something off Spencer FC as Che Adams scores a rocket strike let me just quickly um update How's it going? Let's see how many viewers have I got now. Probably one. Stuart Armstrong, mm, if you're watching this in the chat, you know what I said. Um, concurrent viewers, only one viewer. If you can get anyone else on, that'd be great. Ball forward. Ball forward on the left-hand side. Guard, guided out and there's a foul by Rian Brewster on um, Kyle Walker. No, Ryan Bertrand. <coughs> Let's update this now. James has four goals in his last three appearances against Sheffield United. And what a way to settle your victory. I've seen many great goals. The ball's got even the ball even got stuck underneath the goal after it. The power on that. <sighs> mm. Mm. Sheffield United really need to turn things around Ryan Bertrand Southampton are not going to stop attacking Walker Peters has won, it, won the ball in there McGoldrick trying to get the pull past Diallo as Fraser Forster comes out and off his line again. He did that just before the break. And as Sheffield United had a great chance. But this time he makes sure it's out of play. Lundstram lost the ball in midfield to Diallo. To Teller. Teller on the right to Walker Pieces. He's not had many starts this season. As it was doubtful that he would actually play today, but he somehow pulled through alongside Diallo and Takumi Minamino. Southampton had the fewest points won from their last games. For their last nine Premier League games, with only one draw. Fraser Forster. Plays it forward. Oh. 
Ollie McBurney switches play to Bogle on the right hand side. Jason Bogle tries to put something in the box but is cut out for a corner kick on the Sheffield United right. Fraser Forster, Lundstrand, tries to bring in the ball and I think Vestergaard in the end got something on that and the uh, ball's out of play, I hope an over hit pass to Lundstrand, you can't keep it in play by David McGoldrick who's had some great opportunities but not some great results from it. We're in the 54th minute. Fraser Forster. Beautiful ball up, headed forward by Bogle into the path of Vestergaard and Minamino. Just fishes it out, way, out of play on the wing. As it's now Southampton's duty to defend their two goal leader. That's a dangerous pass across goal. But I think Bogle's a no, um, Keen, Day, Keen Brian is able to recover it. De Ollie McBurney. Free ball to Ryan Brewster. Actually, McGoldrick's going to take it on the wing. David McGoldrick. Infield. It's going to take the strike. Rian Brewster tries to leave it at the edge of the box, but it's cleared by Takumi Minamino, who's made himself as well as an attacking presence, a defensive presence for the Saints. Ollie McBurney. Bogle, Jason Bogle. And um, the ball's one in the end to Kumi Minamino. She's now going to go on the left. <laughs> Takumi Minamino originally came to Liverpool from Salzburg as a right winger. Now Ralph Hassan Hassan Hustle was playing him at the left, which clearly seems to be working out for him. Minamino. Bolduc. Nothing really interesting occurring. There's also an Aston Villa Wolves game. I think I'm only going to be able to commentate one today. And I think that's going to be this one. Sorry if I was a couple minutes late, but um, I had to do a couple of family stuff. Bogle. There's a turn and it's out of play by Carl Walker Peters. No, I mean Ryan Bertram, sorry, I get them very confused. I think there's a substitution for Sheffield United, yet another. And I think they're going to put Lee Smoose on for David McGoldrick, it seems. Lee Smoose, he's made himself an attacking presence as well this season, scoring on it. I'm just going to find out. Also, a beautiful ball clipped in towards Ollie McBurney, who doesn't win it. He's kept it in the possession of Sheffield United. Lundstrom, McBurney, Lundstrom. On the right towards, I think that's Baldock. It's a ball in, headed in at the far post. Headed forward towards goal um, by Ender Stevens, but just can't find the target. Yeah, I was saying, Lise Mousse 
has scored, I believe, um, if my stats will load up, because I keep them on my phone nowadays, because it's super convenient. No, they decided not to load up. Well, this has been a waste. Oh, no, nope, there we are. Season. Flick on. Sorry if my, um, my internet seems a little bit slow, and I think that's a chip, I think it's a foul, as the yellow card's been pulled out of, I don't know who's the referee? Um, referee. A foul, as a, re as a yellow card reached out of the pocket of... Honestly, I can't get the timing right on this. Out of referee Paul T and E. Look here and Tony's dad. Imagine. See how well the stream's doing. Zero viewers, really. Come on, guys. I tried so hard to put this together. I spent like two days preparing. Analytics. Current viewers. No. 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 Okay. Cleared out on the left by Bednarak. Hopefully, people just start to come in. Takumi Minamino on the left hand side. On it, sorry. Um, I'll be back. There's just something's just popped up. I've got to go. I'm sorry if it if it's being quite loud on my end. I think my dad, my brother's just gotten back. Just gonna check if you guys can hear that. Okay. Sorry if it if it's been. Okay, clearly um. Okay, have we got a viewer? Yep, we've got a viewer. Finally! Oh, I've died and sweat into all of this. If it's myself, I'm gonna hurt myself. Okay. Okay, if you're just tuning in, here's the score. A couple of substitutions. Lundstram. There's a chance to bring in the ball. Ball in and it's headed out by Vestergaard before it can reach Ollie McBurney. Both of these teams, it's, it's an important match. I think South, if Southampton win this, they don't move any points. They don't move any places. They don't go up. Or they, and they don't go down. As before this match, they were four points behind Crystal Palace. 
you have got Tottenham Hospice as an upcoming fixture and if Southampton win their next game, then they give them a move into 13th place. Or if the other team with um, 13... No. Or if... Um, uh, or if um, Wolves lose our next game, Southampton win. That's going to make a really big opening for the um, for the Saints. Talk about big openings. I think it's a corner for Sheffield United. No, it's not. Anyway, guys, if you on if you are new, please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. There's a ball in. Oh my god, my TV is being really fussy now. It'll just show me. All I can see is just a, a, a bunch of white and black dots. To be honest. Okay, think. So no, no foul. Referee's going to look further in depth with this one. Lundstrom, yeah. Okay, now I can see properly. Being really fuzzy for a moment. Yeah, Lundstrom with the foul on um, Diallo. Um, yeah, Sheffield United have are in last place for the fewest clean sheets with Sheffield with Newcastle and West Brom drawn with drawn second to last. Actually, Sheffield United have been able to pick up only four victories across the whole Premier League season this year, losing twenty one matches. I think they beat um, Newcastle, Manchester United. Uh, Crystal Palace, I think no, maybe not. Um, and um, uh, actually, quite recently they beat Aston Villa. Teller, the chance to tell it with the long range effort, just squeezed wide of Aaron Ramsdale's post at the edge of the box. It's a great effort. At least Moussa. Made some mistake. There's Teller. That's a great save by Aaron Ramsdale. Just able to get a hand to it. He reads the ball. He reads the play really well. So he dives down to his left to force wide the chance. But it's now a corner kick for the Saints. We've got Vestergaard, Bednarek, Bertrand up there. Che Adams is quite physical, so maybe he could win the ball as well. James Ward Prowse to hover over this one. Ward Prowse swings in the ball. Vestergaard can't get his head on it. It's above a ball forward. Vestergaard tries to flick it through the defence as it's left for Keane Bryan to clear. Only as far as Takumi Minamino, who shows off a bit of his skill there. Switches play on to the right to Stuart on to the left with Stuart Armstrong. As I've noticed from these corners, just like Trent Alexander Arnold and Andrew Robertson, after the corner's taken, the Armstrong and Minamino switch sides as Minamino starts playing on the right end. Armstrong appears on the left. Fraser Forster. Right onto the head of Stuart Armstrong. And is that someone's gone down? I think, is that Lise Mousse? Oh yeah, I think it is after the collision with Stuart Armstrong. But um, oh no, that's Jason Bogle. My mistake. I was about to say it would be much more worrying if it was Lise Musse. But I think they can make one more substitution as Billy Sharp comes on for Rian Brewster. Billy Sharp scored the winning goal against Bournemouth against Bournemouth in Sheffield United's return to the Premier League. Ball in and it's met in the middle by Jason Bogle who really should have done better. 
goes on it with his left foot, bending wide of Faye's of Forster's post, bending wide on the right. Yeah, Lise Mousse hears the call from Jathan Bogle and decides to leave it. What's the other stream's doing? No one, seriously. Analytics, just update. Oh, here we are. Che Adams cuts back at the edge of the box. I can't tell what is happening now. Average, average watch time. Come, come. Okay, you haven't got much views, so hopefully we can build this up. And it's a ball in. And I think, is that a goal? Oh no, it's pushed wide by Takumi Minamino, who thinks he should have done better. See Stuart Armstrong. Bertrand, right in the middle. Minamino left completely unmarked and has somehow put it off target. That is not ideal at all. Um... There we are, sorry. If anyone's watching this, um, why it is slow, slow, I have no idea. Um, yeah. We saw Brighton against Leicester on Sky later today and Liverpool versus Fulham tomorrow at 2 o'clock, which I'll see if I can squeeze in. But if not, I'll try and see if I can fit in the um, uh, the uh, game, the Manchester derby, which will be a big one based on points. Not for much, not much for Manchester City, but more for Manchester United, as they may struggle to keep ahead of Leicester. And I think there's going to be a yellow card dished out. A yellow card shown to Stuart Armstrong as he's been warned. Here's what I, uh, I had that challenge on Lundstrom. Yeah, that's not clean at all. They have to be cautious. Been a lot of, this is like the fourth booking of the match, I believe. Been a lot of yellow cards dished out. The flick on by McBurney. Headed out of the danger zone and a really weak effort from Lundstram. Bouncing way wide of the post, but Fraser Forster's decided to let it go. As we approach the 71st minute, I think it's his third picking up the season, Stuart Armstrong. Headed forward by Ward Prowse. He's got the pass from Diallo. I think the lineups for the Aston Villa game are out. Triore, Watkins, and Trezeguet up front. The Wolves, <coughs> Rui Patrice, <coughs> Owen Goal, Den Donka, Cody, and Saiz at the back. New, um, Tomato, Neves, and I can't see the TV anymore because the broadband is getting really dodgy over here. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm threatening the broadband because it just helps me cope. Who else just thinks I'm flat out weird? Because I know I do. 73rd minute, yeah. Jason Bogle 
switch play and there's a foul at the edge of the area referee decides not to give anything and here's a brilliant opportunity che adams he's got three men forward che adams tries to go for goal what a save our own ramsdale he maybe should have pulled it to stuart armstrong who was waiting in the middle to receive the ball and bang it into the back of the net but clearly not when it walker peters has another chance minamino brings it into carl walker peters who messes up his footing and gives it straight to Sheffield United, who are now going to try and play out. McBurney, Sheffield United win it back again, but I think the referees decided to give the foul by Giallo against Ollie McBurney, as Ramsdale looks to take the free kick very quickly. Here's the opportunity, Che Adams, he's very greedy, he tries to go for it. You can see the annoyed look on Stuart Armstrong's face. As he could have made it three. A goal and an assist from for Stuart Armstrong would have been ideal. Uh the ball one on the ball one on the left by um uh I think Billy Sharp, but uh it's out for a corner kick after the block by James Ward Prowse, who actually scored the first goal of the game, penalty capitalising on a horrible challenge by Ampadu, who we haven't seen much in much of in this second half. Ball in, and it's held onto by Fraser Forster again, as he's been collecting all of the corners. Uh, this is supported by a few blocked. Just saying. The refresh is not still the seventy at the seventy fifth minute now. Oh and it did say the referee. Right here. I knew that. Jason Bogle decided to take the throw in quite quickly and at least Moose can't keep it in play. I think um, Southampton are just going to kind of walk this one out. And I think there's a substitution being made for the Saints. Nathan Redmond's going to come on for, I believe, who is it? Is it Teller? Yeah, it's Teller. He won the penalty earlier in this match. 11, Redmond. We're into the 76th minute. It's, the ball's out of play and it's a uh, Southampton throw. No, uh, Sheffield United throw, I mean. Nathan Redman had quite a good game against um, Everton before being... Brought off for Charleston, obviously scoring the winner in that match, taking it around the keep, uh, taking it around Razor Forster, and here's a chance. Stuart Armstrong's taken the touch, passed. Now it's Nathan Redmond's chance. Nathan Redmond, he decided to do the same as Che Adams. Stuart Armstrong left right in the middle, and as Sheffield United yet again relied upon their number one Aaron Ramsdale, who saved, I think really their chances uh, it's a clear and cleared in the end out for a corner kick james ward price to hover over this one Ball's brought into play and it's headed out and the long struck effort is blocked. And I think Sheffield United want to win it back but Southampton aren't allowing them to get out of their own half which is really the pressure that um, Sheffield United should be applying to the Saints but um, clearly not. Clearly that's not happening right now. Uh, 
TV's gone again. So if anyone's watching this um, pre match post match, um, I um, I don't even know what I'm gonna say. I've also been working on something big. I've, I'm keep on mentioning that, but I think I've actually got my first results on it. Yeah, I have. Bolduck tries to bring the ball over towards Lee Smoosayers. Vestergaard completely misses the header. And he's fortunate there. His keeper was right behind him, his 44. Fraser Force has been starting the games, starting most Southampton games as he's been in quite some good form. The challenge by Dunstrom out for a Southampton throw. Stuart Armstrong's had a great match. He made he um, assisted Jay Adams' goal, and he's gifted Nathan Redmond and Jay Adams two great chances, forcing out two great saves from. Uh, Sheffield United keeper Aaron Ramsdale. Here's Je Stuart Armstrong. I think he's going to have a crack and it's not that far wide. Walker Peters was on the wing as a passing option, but I think after all that Stuart Armstrong's done today, he deserves a goal, really. Here we are. Uh, it's sort of Faded across the box, just steering wide of the post. It's not like Southampton have a big pressure to score. It's not like they have much pressure to score another goal. I think Ollie McBurn is quite happy with the decision made by the referee. He's not... Very happy with Paul Tierney. Which I think, yeah. He absolutely manhandles Walker Peters, just full on shoves him over. I'm, I'm not surprised that the referee is upset with that. Best the guard. Oli McBurney tries to bring in the ball and there was a chance. Waiting in the face of Sheffield United. Waved in the face of Sheffield United, but it's Jan Bednarek. He's able to clear it out for a corner kick. As um, Southampton, Sheffield United looked to bring it back a goal. Headed in at the far post, headed forward towards goal at the far post by Ollie McBurnley, straight at Fraser Forster, who's decided to hold on to it. Yeah, we'll just hold above the goal by Fraser Forster. If it did slip through his fingers, I think it would have hit the bar. Yeah, Bednarek, who's had a quite a good game alongside his centre half partner, um, Jan Vestergaard. Ball forward. Sheffield United seem very composed. On the right, there's a ball forward to Elise Mousse. On the right-hand side, he's in acres of space. And a very, very, very hard, very fast cross put in by the Frenchman. I, I think it was impossible for anyone to get something on that, to be honest. As we're in the 83rd minute, my... my, my uh, the, the timer here 
being super inaccurate right now, but you know what I mean. And I think Chris Wilder is stuck for options, and to be honest, it's all about the players, isn't it? When you're a manager, you could you can only all you can only do is stand at the pitch. It's up to the players to execute the plan. Well, that's the ball forward, but Minamino who tries to square it to Stuart Armstrong, and it's a spectacular piece of defending by I think Ampadu. As the lineswoman didn't have her flag up at all. I think we're approaching full time, 83rd minute. Not much, not uh, not very interesting this match. Let's see what the live blog's up. See what's up on the live blog. Alan scores a stunner from distance. Jane to a prowse penalty. Burnley held Arsenal to buy us. Hit the post, which was very unfortunate. In the box and passes intercepted, yeah. Yeah. And don't forget, I'm not that experienced because I'm not even... I don't, I'm not even an adult yet. I agree, there is no, there should be no room for racism. Um, match week 27. Everyone we'll just go to Premier League. Um, here we are. Belly shot. I think no matter how far the attacking options go. Sheffield United just can't the defence and the midfield just can't give the ball to them. And you can see the forwards have been dropping more into midfield than attack when given these great situations just like Ollie McBurney. Our Bulldogs received the ball on the right hand side. Goes back to Ampadu. Who clips the ball straight at Lise Mousse, who can't keep it as Stuart Armstrong wins the ball off him. And it's a free kick to the Saints after Bertrand being absolutely manhandled or harassed, harassed, I should say, by three of three Sheffield United players, which I'm not going to name because it's a name of shame. See what this team's doing. No views, really. Ah, it's gonna sting. Ramsdale, no, what's a ball forward? Nathan Redmond with a chance now, lays it off to Che Adams. Uh, the block of Che Adams, he's gone down in the area and the referee decides it's a goal kick. But did I really start by accident? There. Nathan Redmond. Back here. The ball chipped out wide. Can't meet anyone. Che Adams, I think he has won the Man of the Match award. Award. After scoring a thumping effort, I don't even think there's any way you can not give him that. I think, is that Gineppo? Mr. Gineppo. Yeah, Minamino's come off. And Mr. Gineppo is on. 
Takumi Minami has got a great goal in his Southampton debut against Chelsea. Badnarek heads it out. What's that the chances? Riggle past Walker Peters and Bertrand. They just can't get past the impenetrable centre halves. Beautiful switch of play over to Bolduck. Here's a chance. Options Gineppo tries gineppo has got it. He's gonna fake strike and it's um the challenge put in, but Gineppo does well to keep it in play. And there's a weak cross in and a horrible pass out, wasn't it? Bogle's actually gotten something. He's actually gotten to it. There's a free kick to South, uh, Sheffield United. Sorry, they're really they're easily confusing. They're really easy to get their names mixed up. Ball forward, uh, cut out. It's again straight away by the Southampton's impenetrable defence. And I'm here's my most controversial thought of the day. Why isn't it? He's playing on a bigger standard Bednar record. It seems to be a fight. No, I was talking about Vestergaard. Why aren't they playing on a higher standard? There seems to be a situation as Che Adams has gone down. I think all 22 players on the pitch are there. I think even a linesman's come. And Fraser Forster is going to get booked, I believe. The yellow card straight actually I think no it's not Forster it's black you see the situation again oh my god he literally crunches Che Adam goes straight through and three minutes of added time but I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more held on for these controversy Vestergaard I think Vestergaard and Bednarek aren't very happy with the decision being made by the referee. That is where it is. John Fleck with his third booking of the season. He's been warned. And Yannick Vestergaard, I think, is booked too. As Kieran Tierney, I think that's his one minute. Kieran Tierney, that's one, two, three, four, five. His sixth booking of the game. Getting serious. I think, I think it's match over. Really, Che Adams looks to be in. Seems to be in quite a bit of pain. Fraser Forster to clear it forward. The boy James Ward Prowse, it's a free kick to Southampton as Ampadu's gone down right outside his own six yard box. And Ollie McBurney was booked as well, the second booking of the season. Headed forward and um, not controlled well enough. Oh yeah, I'll just update it. Here we are, we can see Ollie McBurney just there. Shoves down Ryan Bertrand. Nobody's watching this, are they? Okay, yay! We've actually got a view, but you are a legend, whoever you are. So just take a bow. Take a bow. Because you're my saviour. Sheffield United seem to be strolling forward. Ward Prowse clips over the top towards Gineppo and Aaron Ramsdale holds it into the box. The reason why I'm not streaming this match is because I believe it's illegal and I um 
I do know I do not want to be in to be involved with something illegal so I'm doing I'm just like not gonna um, stream it but I'm gonna commentate it because I think that is legal John Flack ball out on the left the low ball in and McC forcing a great save by Fraser Forster and now is Southampton breaking again that's what they do best in that's what they've done best in this match Nathan Redmond fed through by Stuart Armstrong Redmond he can't keep possession and pretty much like the third chance they've had like this in the game as it finishes 2-0 to it finishes 2-0 to the visitors as a host drop now drop down another three points the host deck another three points as Southampton grasped a vital three points to really keep them where they need to be overall a great match and um thank you guys for tuning in whoever you are if you're watching this on catch up if you're staying the whole way through thank you i'm gonna end the stream here okay you guys are all amazing and i'll catch you next time bye <laughs>